Sabaho everybody, welcome back to Expos Tuesday. Today we're gonna to talk about a couple of modules that will help us get a better experience as far as using Google Play Music on our device. This is TK, let's check it out. There's two modules that we need to download. There is, it's right there, the Google Play Music. It's called GPM Notification Seek Bar. This is for Lollipop and Marshmallow. And then of course we need to download and install XGPM. Make sure you install them, check the boxes, and then restart. The version on the, uh, the Notification Seek Bar is 0.98, and then the version on the XGPM is 1.9, sorry, 1.9.2. So very easy, you check the box and restart. Uh, the notification seek part basically just turns it on. It tells you exactly how it's going to be. You click the album art and then it brings up the notification seek bar and that's how you interface with it. You want to say compress notification by default, which is what you have, and then you can expand it. Uh, you can customize the colors if you like. I didn't want to go that far. The default ones are pretty much set for me. Uh, enable animation and then uh, show current position and as far as duration. So if I'm playing a song, I click it, it'll tell me where it is. And of course we can go down further down to be able to basically bonus expanded notification stuff hide the uh, divider stock. You can customize it to your heart's content. Once you're done, check it, and then you'll be able to use it. Um, and of course, it only works if you're playing music. Let's go into the exposed uh, Google Play Music module. This one has had some nice updates, uh, some nice features, and I'll go through. Uh, the, all the standard options are still here, hiding the library, uh, removing the play form, a music section, removing a recommendation, uh, customizing how you turn it on. There's a couple of experimental options. One of them is here where you have the album art replacer if you want to customize your own album art. Uh, also the ability to use the enable adaptive home screen for more recommendations as far as album and songs and concerts in your, near, in your air, nearby area. So this is more personalized recommendations. As far as the design, this is the first section here, the new design. It gives us the access to this new play or now playing tab. Uh, tint the icon to be able to match the song, of course. Voice commands, if you want to add that, you can add the icon for it. Um, hide all YouTube related uh, recommendations, so that little YouTube icon that comes up, if there's a YouTube video for it, you can hide that. You can go to the old notification style, no album art um, uh, in track section. And of course, if you want to hide the application from the launcher, which I do want to do that. So we're going to go back home. We'll open up Google Play Music. Now I have this new player. You'll notice by default, this looks very different than what you have right now in your Google Play Music. Um, not only that, we also have the ability to basically cast on the top, uh, the equalizer, of course. And then we also have the ability to see the playlist based on the song that we're playing. We'll go back. And then of course, we have the three dot menu here to be able to start radio, share all of the good stuff that we had before. The seek bar, if you notice, it's colored and tinted to the same thing. So it picks up that there's some gray coloring in the art and it gives it to the actual uh, player. If we go down, well, let's go ahead and start the song. And then I'm gonna pause it for a second. So you'll notice here, the gray kind of follows there. If I click on the album art, the seek bar comes up here. So now I'm able to basically track forward and play and go back. And I'm still able to basically, you know, favorite it or unfavorite it or do whatever I want. But the reason why I wanted to show this to you guys is if you go to the lock screen, the, the song is there, the album art is there. I can still interact with it, but now you notice I can actually do the seek bar option as well. If I do, if we'll go back, bring it, we'll go back here, I can do the same. This is something that we didn't have the ability of doing before. So if we go back and pause it. Very, very nice, very easy. Hope you guys like these mods. They're pretty simple mods from the sense of what they do, but the new UI, the design, the ability to go, you know, skip forward and seek forward on the actual playback from the notification panel is very nice. But you can also see that you can also do it from the home screen, which is something that we're not used to be able to do. So very nice customizations. Again, I'll give you guys a link in the description below to both those mods. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And yes, Exposed Tuesday is back. So I'm gonna try to keep consistency on this and bring it back to every Tuesday for you guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'll see you guys in the next one, and thank you for the support. Initial thing, it says let's get started. It says swipe left for widgets, so we'll go ahead and swipe to the left. Front-facing camera, fingerprint sensor is at the bottom, and again, this isn't a button, it's 